Now let's look at a problem dealing with choosing movies. Seven movies, A, B, C, D, E, F, and G, are being scheduled for showing. The order of showing is determined by random selection. Find the probability that film C will be shown first, film A next to last, and film E last. Well, we have seven different movies, so we're going to think of this in the following manner. We're going to have a probability of our event, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven movies that have to be shown. Now, we are told that C has to be shown first. There's only one choice here. We're told that film A has to be shown next to last, so there's only going to be one choice here. And film E is going to be last, only one choice here. Which means now we only have four movies left to fill in the other blanks. There are four ways to choose the second movie, three ways to choose the third, two ways next, and then one way. So we're going to multiply these values together. And notice that we could write this as four factorial. Now that's the numerator in our probability, where the probability in the, the sorry, the format in the pro denominator is going to be the order in which we could choose if we didn't have this criteria. We have seven films all together, and so there would be seven factorial different ways in order to choose any film if we had no distinction as to how to choose the order. Now let's simplify. We're going to notice that we can write this as four factorial divided by seven times six times five times four factorial. The four factorial will divide out and we're going to multiply in order to come up with 1 divided by 210 as our probability.